It's been two weeks since Republicans ousted Kevin McCarthy from the job. But it seems like a lifetime. Doesn't it, it feel seems, like it was a lot seems longer? Seems like a lot longer than two yeah. weeks ago, my friends. Uh, but with just a day to go until the House votes again, the GOP's new nominee, Jim Jordan, he still faces major hurdles, a big math problem to win the speaker's gavel. The Republican infighting paralyzing half of Congress, jeopardizing America's ability to solve serious issues, both foreign and, and domestic. Tom Dempsey has the latest from Capitol Hill. Uh, Tom, next vote scheduled for noon tomorrow. Yeah, the countdown is on until that first uh, vote on the House floor on Tuesday. And until then, you can fully expect Congressman Jim, J Jim Jordan to be reaching out to colleagues, making phone calls, maybe even holding some closed door meetings here on Capitol Hill as he tries to get to that magic number of 217. That's the required number of votes needed to be elected. House Speaker on the floor. But this all comes, this uh, vote on Tuesday all comes after what was really a chaotic week for House Republicans that saw House Majority Leader Steve Scalise uh, nominated to be the next uh, Speaker of the House nominee. But he later pulled out when it became apparent he couldn't get enough votes to win the speakership on the floor. Now, though, it's Jim Jordan's turn. He got over 150 votes of support in a secret ballot vote last week, but he needs to do a lot of work to get to 217. Appearing on the Sunday morning shows, fellow Republicans spoke about the effort before Jordan. Take a listen. I think Jim Jordan can get there. I'm one who understands how difficult it is. I did walk in with more support during this time, but I believe at the end of the day, Jim can get there. Uh, and I'm doing everything I can to help him be able to become speaker. Nothing's impossible, uh, but it's, it's going to be really, really difficult based on what I'm hearing. Uh, I don't have a good read on what every single member is thinking. As, as you said, they, they, there's a lot of different reasons with different members. It's impossible for any member of our conference to get 217 true believers, 217 people who truly think you're the best, right? Now, as the House remains without a speaker, two big issues continue to go unresolved. Aid for Israel as it wages war with Hamas needs to be addressed and a new government spending bill must be passed within the next 32 days to avoid a government shutdown. Representative Mike Turner, a Republican from Ohio, saying that if Republicans can't come to sort of an agreement on who the next House speaker should be, that might require some sort of deal with Democrats to make sure that business can get going on the House floor. Floor, but he did add that he believes Jim Jordan will get enough support to be the next House Speaker. Again, though, the big countdown is for Tuesday when that uh, vote will be held next. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.